Okay, so we're back in Lily Cove. I taught fly to uh, Malarkey and was able to just fly over here. But you'll notice these aqua grunts everywhere now. I'm just, I'm an adult. Just listen to me. You don't need a reason. Okay, man. What do you guys have to say? We were alluded to a secret hideout today. We were just talking to myself. Ah! So there's actually, speaking of that, uh, not that way. Let's go this way and see. Hey, look, a thing. Spindler's Dugout. So Matt tells me I'm the best Zubat trainer he's ever seen, right? Bro, you're too cool. You gotta teach me, bro. Nah, bro, you're a natural. You should be teaching me. Bro. Ah! Who is this guy? Bro, this isn't good. He totally saw us. Still, he's still seeing us. What do we do? He's back. Bang back, bro. I'll handle this. Hey, Scram, I was just teaching this Team Magma Low Life a lesson. Beat it before I do the same to you. What, you don't believe me? Bro, he's not buying it. You leave me no choice. If Archie finds out I'm with friends with a magma grunt, my career is finished. You don't stand a chance against me, kid. Oh man, this guy's the best too bad trainer ever. We better watch out. Oh. 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 Well, I'll just eat the zoo bad. Good thing I have the utterly poison immune his stop here. Just oh. <laughs> well, that Team Aqua bro. Wha? <laughs> this guy is too strong, bro. Way too strong. We gotta come up with something, bro. Yeah, now might we make a deal? You see, my associate and I, we got some real valuable items we might be willing to part with for a price. <laughs> I like how he just tries to walk away. I didn't do that. These aren't your regular items, these are prototypes from the Holon region. What the hell is the Holon region? You won't find this stuff anywhere else in Hoenn. If you promise not to tell anyone we were here, we can sell you some of the items. Got ourselves a deal? Sure. You probably shouldn't hang out in such an obvious cave, though. Alright, so these guys will sell you some really interesting stuff. There's the Everlight, which is basically the Eviolite. It boosts the defenses of an unevolved Pokemon by 50%. Really, really good on Chansey. Cursed Sash. Takes a hit, but lowers all stats. Um, zoom Lens, Accuracy, Power Herb, Instant Use of a Charge Move. Something like uh, Wicked Lash or Solar Beam. Hello, valued customer. Air Balloon, Wild Lens, Enigma Orb. So the Enigma Orb makes all your moves, like, non-typed which is honestly really good, and boost damage. So you won't get any super effective hits, but nothing can be blocked. Then the Waystone guarantees a hit on the first move. Wow. So these are these are some good items. Would recommend grabbing some of them. The Enigma Orb might be fun to try out. They are expensive, but money's not that hard to come by in this game. So this is the Bro Cave. The, the, the Team Aqua Magma, Magma Grunt Bro Cave. Anyway, so one more thing I want to do this part is probably going to be the uh, aqua hideout over here. Because they also have an obvious cave that we could go in right up here to these guys. There's going to be a guy running circles around the place. So I brought candy with us. Good old candy. Candy hasn't seen a lot of action in a while. And I figured that this is Team Aqua, they're going to have a lot of water types. And what do we do with water types? We zap them. Could have brought, uh... And, since I say that, not a water type at all. Okay. Uh, uh okay. Well, fine. Fine, then Ponyard can do it. Ponyard can fight you! Uh, that's not going to be very strong. Yeah, it didn't get the defense drop though, so that's fine. Crunch again. Well, good thing I brought potions. I did bring potions. I did actually bring potions this time. Alright, that's enough of this. This just keeps going on and on. Stop biting me, Ponyard! Oh, he finally got a defense drop. Like, come on, man. Like, why do they all have Mighty Inos? Like, I get that they're the team, and I get that, like, uh, such an unimaginative Pokemon. 
and they only made it marginally better. That's okay. Shouldn't be mean to the Mighty Innas. I lost it! I lost for the team, but I did my job. Okay. Now I'm gonna now I'm gonna heal up. All the way down here in Super Potion Land. Okay, well hopefully the next person will have anything weak to him for us, like Zubats. So I don't remember the way with these. My method for doing the um the aqua teleporter puzzles has always been pick it until it's different. So let's see, but this is just a hideout full of Team Aqua Grunts. It's really not that interesting. That's not a water type either. Do y'all not know what water types are? Some Team Aqua you are. Uh ooh, that's right. We have Electrize or whatever. Carbonize. So, so Carbonize is a steel type move that has a chance to burn. Which is pretty good. Um, like that's a pretty good move. Uh, Houndoom can actually learn that. Special special steel move that, as you can see, does pretty good damage because Electric only resists steel in itself. And Candy still took quite a hit from that. Um, Uproar, is that randomly... I'm just trying to... I'm just thinking out loud. If Uproar uh, hits multiple Pokemon, or if it picks a random one in a double battle. The secret of hideout... You know, the last guy who promised me a secret when I beat him just decided not to tell me the secret after I beat him. So I don't really know if I believe you, guy. Dugong, look! A water type! Hark! Hark! A real water type! That doesn't matter none. That don't matter none. Alright, we, we, this is the special team. We don't care about that crap. And then... Uh, Dragon Pulse, the Mighty Inna. Flurry is very fast. Oh. Well, I guess Dragon Fairy still has to worry about ice. Kinda. <laughs> oh, and then he used on Fl Okay. I mean, if one of you gets zapped by Uproar, you're just dead. So I'm not really that worried about it. And Mighty Inna's down. I kind of wish it had been the Dugong, because now it's going to hit uh, Flurry again. But that's fine. Worst things have happened. Drag Luke, trying to learn Dragon Dance. So Dragon Dance is such a good move, but I'm not going, special, not going physical on it, so I'm not really about that life. Oh, so we aren't. Wait, I thought we were done, but I guess we aren't. Uh, Flurry's confused. Come on, Flurry. You had a you had a flame breath at uh awful floating land sea mine. It is a sea mine, not a land mine. And that's gonna probably do it for Flurry. If not, uh, whatever's coming out of that quillfish will. I was gonna say, unless it gets hit by uproar, but yeah, that's okay. That's a tough, tough aqua fight. Y'all are letting me have it. <laughs> you can have it. I have 47. Dry cloak. They probably gain a few uh, this go round. Swelling up with poison. What the hell does that mean? Fence rose. Special defense. Oh, defense and special attack. Huh. Okay, Flurry. I need this from you. Oh, Flurry. Come on. And then Frostbite. Cool. Okay, well, I'm gonna use. Let's switch to his stuff then. A lot of battles in these parts. I. I do apologize if it's too much battle. I just feel like it's worth showing a little bit of, like, this whole Aqua scene. But the Sharpedo is now all by himself. So I'm really not too worried about it. We'll just... 
Oh, oh, he chose death. He chose death. Like, come on, my dude. Like, you're just done. That's just it. You, you, you cannot. Okay, let's see if I'm right. I, I haven't checked on the numbers. I lost in a cool way. Not really. Okay, it wasn't 47. Is it? It's either 48 or 50. It's gotta be. Uh, I bought revives. Okay, yes. Uh, I did buy revives. Because I was tired of not having items. Probably not show the next couple of Team Aqua battles. Probably not show any of the rest until we get to Tabitha. Or, not Tabitha. Matt? Yeah. So. But we're gonna wander our way around here. Just finding grunts. I do want XP though, so I will be showing that stuff. I grew weary of waiting. You owe me a battle too. Okay. And he's trying to learn Hyper Beam. Uh, as much fun as it would be to have... Wait. You know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I could always replace Shockwave again. Maybe. But I, I kind of want it because think. It turns into an electric boo. So it gets stabbed and then it gets a... 20% boost on top of that. I kind of, I kind of want to try it on as like a big nuke on something. Wait, what? I don't remember this one. Oh, okay. That takes us to a nest ball. And then to go more, more teleports. These, uh, what are these? Uh, what is this, a pallet? Like a collection of pallets? Man, some kind of pallet town. Fur fuel loaded up A-OK. -okay. In crew snack floated A-OK. -okay. Nothing left to do but A-OK, -okay, a pesky meddler A-OK. -okay. Ah! I mean, it was gonna do that anyway, but I just wanted to try it. Okay, that guy's mission was to just hold us up. He meant to do that. Uh, alright. So I'm gonna put his stuff up front. Dracloak and Ponyard are almost to the point that I want them. Hopefully they'll get there before we get to the boss. Or the semi-boss. Uh, but I want them to... be at a good point. Because I would like to bring them along. Okay, so after these guys, we will... Wait, does this say anything? No, it doesn't say anything. Ah, oh, that kind of sucks. So that's Matt. Now if we go back... Let's let's go ahead and fight him. Sup? <laughs> Got here already, did you? We underestimated you, but this is it. I'm a cut above the grunts you've seen so far. He looks like Steven Universe. Like, does anyone else see that? I'm not stalling for time. I'm going to pulverize you. Like, he definitely looks like Steven Universe. Not in that sprite, though. Not sure how... Okay, Delmize. So Delmize is Grass Ghost. So not... Don't have a lot to deal with that right now, but I am going to use Thunder Wave on it because I'm a big meanie. And use Dive. Okay. Ooh, that's rough, man. That's that's rough, my my guy. If you're paralyzed, using two turn moves is always the biggest gamble around. And, <laughs> and there it is. Another reason why two turn moves are not good. Oh, okay. That that turned out to be a great idea. In some ways, them not being able to use items seems like too much of an advantage. Oh my god. Okay, well, anybody, that wanted, any of you five Delmize fans out there that wanted to see Delmize do something, uh, even, it's even a wonder that Delmize is in this game. Like, really? Delmize? But, like, 
Sorry, he did absolutely nothing. Ow, frostbite. Well, hopefully the sing goes off and we can just, uh... Yeah, okay. Good, good, okay. Now we're gonna switch in some, uh, some candy action. Candytopia, the place I have heard about. It's like a candy museum, but, uh... Some kind of Wonka factory. Alright, we're gonna uproar it. Does Uproar wake up Pokemon? Like if I don't I don't think so. But that liquidation did not do half. Oh, doesn't even matter. Doesn't even matter. Alright, Candy. This is the moment that you've been waiting for. Assuming that whatever he puts out is weak to electric. Oh my god, it's Blast Toys. Why is it Blast Toys? Oh, uh, I'm still doing uproar. Never mind. Oh, paralysis didn't come back to bite me. Oh, I thought Blast Toys was going down in one hit. I was like, bro. <laughs> He's got seismic toss. It's okay. That's fair enough. I I can't really say anything against that. You know what? I want Ponyard to do it. He can't use healing items. It's... It's gotta be... Yeah, you know. Seismic Toss only does 52 damage. It's fine. Does he really not have anything else? But, alright. You get it, Ponyard. You you crush this massive mega turtle. You true humongous... Among Us mega turtle. Dracloak 49. Everybody, everybody almost there. And we beat Matt. Heh heh, so I lost. Heh. So, man, heh heh heh. While I was toying with you, our boss got through his preparations. I get heh heh heh. Already got through his way. Heh heh heh. Gotta give chase, you better search the big wide sea beyond Lake Cove. Heh heh heh. Heh heh heh. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, um. So there's still more of the aqua hideout for us to explore. And we're gonna do that and then call this a part. Because there's one more thing I want to find and then we'll call it a part. But we get to play everybody's favorite game, Teleport City. Um, I think? Wait, what happens if I go up here? Okay, no. Wait, then where... Oh no, it's down here. Okay. So down here, you'll notice that room up there with those, uh, with the four Pokeballs. So this way, this one will always take you back up to the top. Just, just to demonstrate that, that one always takes you there. Go middle, and then left, and then I believe this one, nope, left, nope, that just put me back the way I came, okay. Then middle, and then left, and then far right, far, far left. The based pad. Huh, that one is interesting. There's some electrodes here, don't mind them. Okay, so, there's a nugget. And another electrode. Okay. And a master ball. It's the only master ball I know how to find in this game. I don't actually know how to get to that one. But anyway, the important thing is that is everything in the magma hi the aqua hideout, and that will have been both hideouts in the span of both parts. So in the next part, we are going to follow them to the west of Lily Cove and finally go where we have been meaning to go for quite a while. So I will see you guys in the next part, and we will go exploring into the wide blue ocean of Hoenn. And there is a wide, wide ocean to be had. See you guys then.